Okay, we're recording. Hey everyone, it's uh, Gordon Einstein, your Dubai resident crypto attorney, doing another exciting, fun episode from where I live. And naturally featuring uh, the men and women of crypto, blockchain, policy, trading, and everything interesting. So continuing our trend of increasing the population or number of qualified awesome women on the show, yes, uh, I would very much like to introduce Anastasia. Now, I, I'm not good with this. Anastasia Markovic. Am I saying this correctly? I hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good. Uh, be like that. Uh, Anastasia Cohen W. <laughs> Anastasia Cohen W. Okay. For, so for, uh, for, for us American people who never learned another language, Anastasia Cohen W. Cohen W. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Anastasia. <laughs> Nastya. Yes. <laughs> you know my so, short how, name. So, so how show. Okay, okay, so uh, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, as you just mentioned, you're with CoinW, which as I understand it is a up and coming crypto exchange that yeah. at least has operations here in D Dubai. We can go over the details of their setup during the show, but I want to welcome you on very much. And what, how about we handle it this way? Give a very brief summary of what you do now, like brief, brief, because we're going to come back to it. And then I'm going to do my usual thing with speakers, which is we're going to roll back to where you're from and your progression to now, because I think that's always interesting, especially what you did as a job before, which is highly relevant. So just I'll, I'll walk you through. So in very brief terms, what do you do now? So uh, as uh, Gordon uh, says, we are crypto exchange, like the, the same as other exchanges, but special and unique, of course, uh, because we're a Chinese uh, uh, crypto exchange and we're moving forward all around the world, not only uh, from China. In 2017, we started uh, in Australia. Okay. Like the company was established in Australia uh, and then moved to Dubai. So uh, we exist like for six years and on the 17th of April, we're going to celebrate our sixth anniversary. It's quite a long, long period for a crypto exchange, especially a Chinese one. Yeah. Um, why I'm saying this uh, exchange is very unique because I see these people uh, as hardworking, very fast developing and very, very motivated to uh, spread the company, to spread this exchange all over the world. Now we're moving uh, oh, all around. Uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go into all the details of the presence. Believe me, we're going to spend a long yeah. time with it. But point W, Chinese exchange established in Dubai, started up in Australia. What do you do there? The short version. Your job yeah. Now we are based. We are based. Uh, I mean, the office, the company is based in Dubai, and uh, some uh, parts of uh, the company, of course, in China because it was established by Chinese. Mm -hmm. And as uh, as for me, I'm responsible for the Russian speaking market. I mean, Russia, Ukraine, uh, uh, Belarus, of course, uh, where I'm from. Yeah, and all speak uh, Russian speaking countries. Uh, actually, I work not only with uh, uh, CIS countries, but with uh, uh, Dubai itself, with uh, UAE, and so on, and mm -hmm. even with the USA, <laughs> for example, Gordon. <laughs> well, hey, listen, I, I'm yeah. here. So, uh, oh, okay, now we're going we're gonna to go into detail on this, but but you now let's go to you personally. So, I think I heard you say you, you're originally from Belarus. Yes. 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 Right. So I'm Belarusian, I'm from Belarus, and I started my way, my career in Belarus as a teacher. I worked at school, and I have worked there for 13 years. Wow. And then after 13 years, I decided to change my life. And I just left school because actually uh, I loved uh, working with kids. Mm. I love kids <laughs> so far, but... I realized that uh, I need to change something. And I just left school. Okay, and so it was a big a step. You, you grew up in Belarus. Did you study teaching or ped um, pedagogy or whatever it's called in Belarus? Did you study the, the, the art of teaching? 
Yes, yes, of course. I graduated from the university because uh, my decision was uh, to be a teacher, to become a teacher. I became a teacher and I have worked uh, for 13 years. Okay, so that's yes, a significant and period of time. And, it, and correct me if I'm wrong, if you're in Belarus, is, is every school a state school? Like Most it, it, of them. Private and you're public. I'm guessing in Belarus, every yeah. every school is run by the state. Is that correct? Yes, I would say that uh, all, almost all schools in Belarus are like 95% are state schools. And some of them are private, but normally all, all the kids uh, attend uh, state schools. Okay. and then Like it's a state establishment. I understood. And then what, what is it like working for a state school system in Belarus? <laughs> um. Yeah, it's not only about education, it's not about uh, teaching. Actually, it's uh, very, very uh, strict and very, I would say, harsh <laughs> establishment uh, for performing orders. Um, I would say it's a quite difficult uh, experience for me. That's why I left. I decided to change something. Uh, I realized that... Um, Maybe if I uh, stayed at school, mm -hmm. I would die there <laughs> directly because normally this is like post-Soviet uh, mentality mm -hmm. to uh, to live, to stay and to work at the same place all your life. And especially it's like a Belarusian mentality, like mm -hmm. people are very tolerant, people are very patient, are very stable. That's why I felt like I'm the same. <laughs> I'm becoming the same. Like uh, I started I, as a teacher, and I uh, I will die as a teacher. That's it. Like a uh, <laughs> straight line all my life. <laughs> That's why I decided not, to change. Not for you. Yeah, no, not for me. Not for and, me. And then, yeah. what, what, what year did you did you did you stop teaching and come to Dubai? So uh, actually, I stopped in twenty twenty three. Okay. Oh, recently. And Very recently. I was I was really brave because people are scared of losing job. Um, normally people find job, then they leave um the previous job or work, and they decide like during one job they uh, find and blah blah blah. But I just left, and okay. that was risky. <laughs> that was risky. What, what did they say? What did the school say when you when you just decided to uh, leave? Uh -huh. like, that I'm crazy. They all said I'm crazy because uh, I should have found another job. Uh, it's not good. It's not good to leave uh, the job and uh, stay like this free. But I wanted that freedom. That's I why know. I left my I left my job mm -hmm. and started thinking what to do. <laughs> Just uh, feeling, you know, free, feeling free first. Uh, with free brain and then to decide some something in life <laughs> I, I, I so, like it because we're, we're going to lead into the idea of freedom especially for women in the second half of the show and i can I, it's, it's it's very brave and assertive of you to get yourself it's it's, it's, it's funny you got some freedom to get some freedom yes you know, exactly you got some freedom from the school system in order to get some freedom in your mind that then made more freedom so maybe yeah, it, this is how it happened with me. Yes, that's, that's very that's true. Right. Okay, now there's yeah. a million places in the world to go, but you ended up in Dubai. So how does how does that happen? Uh, actually, that uh, magical story. I have never thought of Dubai, really. Um, Dubai is very popular among Belarusians and among Russians, you know, yeah. because there are a lot of Russians. But I have never liked it, like in Syria. Uh, and just one one day, my friend um, uh, went for a vacation here, and she called me from here and, and said to me, Anastasia. <laughs> Anastasia, <laughs> because we normally traveled around uh, Europe. Uh, I'm a traveler, but I'm European traveler. I traveled quite a lot, but around Europe. And Anastasia, fuck Europe. <laughs> Sorry for this word. Fuck Europe. <laughs> uh, Dubai it's is a for family you. show. Yes, uh, Dubai is for you. It's all yeah. for you. Really, I see you. Mm -hmm. And I thought like, mm, okay, 
Maybe I should think of that. <laughs> well, Maybe. Joey, you, you should thank your friend, right? Because she, your friend. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, and she gave me she gave me this idea, and she was like a model because she had a very very good work in Belarus in logistics, mm -hmm. and very good salary, mm -hmm. and she left. She left just uh in two weeks she left her work she found uh work here in dubai in emirates now she's cabin crew uh like and she crossed crossed everything and i i was in that period uh, of freedom actually <laughs> in my uh when my mind was free and i thought like mm. of course uh, cabin crew is not for me mm. i thought at the time but i started thinking in different way maybe uh, what is she is saying is like for me and you know when you when you set up your mind like this mm -hmm. uh opportunities possibilities come yes 100%. And, uh, yes yes and uh this is uh how um, Actually, I'm sorry, it's, it's really two things it's when you set your mind and you take even a little bit of action the action is like yes. the match on the dynamite yeah a little bit of yes, action of course starts the universe. and i started thinking of that yes i started thinking of that and searching the ways and i found the agency um who uh, suggested me trying retail because uh now i'm almost i'm uh, 37 in uh, april and yeah. like all this uh service hospitality uh, sector is not for me because i look young but uh, in my passport i'm you quite do quite wise you know and this this uh, sector i mean hospitality is for younger people who are ready to work as waitress or something like that yeah. and for me they they suggested uh, retail and i read through the philosophy of the company they suggested me trying and i thought why not why not and i had the interview with the brand here in dubai mm -hmm. um and during the interview uh, they told me, like, Anastasia, pack your suitcase. Think that you are hired. <laughs> okay. And wow. it was online. <laughs> yeah. So you did the interview actually, while you're in Belarus still, yes? Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was an amazing experience because um, people, I mean, uh, mostly Arab people, uh, think in different way. Because I had zero experience also in retail. Mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, they, 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 uh, right, they, they judge your character and if your character is right yes during the interview they realized they saw the potential and they told me halas <laughs> it's done pack oh, your that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> pack your suitcase yeah. we decided so and i like that a lot because uh belarusian mentality uh is absolutely different if yeah. you have no experience or if you have little experience people uh employers will never hire hire you never no, because they, they, you don't have paper, experience I, I know that post-soviet spaces want credentials and they want experience and they want you working your way up and it, it's yeah usually not for much um Okay, so that's great. So you, you, you fly down to Dubai, I'm guessing? And... Yeah, so I signed the contract online, being in Belarus, and I came directly to work. Okay. <laughs> and I started working like directly when I arrived in Dubai. Lovely. And I have never visited Dubai before. <laughs> I just uh, left everything mm -hmm. and flew to Dubai and started working. Okay, amazing. <laughs> like this. You know, good, good initiative. Okay, and and then what happens? Yeah, then I worked for eight months in retail, mm -hmm. and also I realized it's not for me because you know it's quite harsh, not quite hard. It's it's very hard actually to work six days a week um, without long hours, without your weekends, uh, without your free time. Mm, yes and i uh said thank you that company i'm really grateful because they gave me that chance to come to dubai yes. um and they allowed me to to leave because they they also appreciated that i want to move move ahead 
and to make another step. That's why how uh, they allow me to to go. So and <laughs> oh, like one day one, yeah, I I was in the I was in the period uh, of understanding of realizing that uh, it's not for me. And one day I met a crypto trader uh, who told me, "Okay, I can find you <laughs> another job." Of course, you can continue in retail. I can suggest you trying um, more, <laughs> more in retail. But I said, hold on, I, no. I, I got someone messaging me because I'm so popular, and I should turn this off. Can you one second here? I will. Yeah. Okay, we got. We have to maintain video quality. All right, go ahead. So someone says you meet a crypto trader, and you know you could have done more retail, but you're like, nah, something new. And so. Um, and he uh, told me about different opportunity um, as being a very, very good experienced uh, uh, crypto trader. Mm -hmm. uh, he is into numbers. He asked me, what's your date of birth? I said uh, the 28th of April. And he said 28th. It's mean one. Uh, like Anastasia, you don't realize what you can. <laughs> You're a one. And he is in numbers, you understand? Crypto is uh, always uh, based on numbers. You you don't understand. And he gave me the example of Elon Musk and uh, the other uh, celebrities and other powerful people who are number one. And he said, mm, I can recommend you to try in CoinW because they are in search of a uh, business developer. And this is how I met Sonia, the president of um, the company, <laughs> uh, who also interviewed me, uh, who asked me some question. She is uh, also in numbers and she sees a person through. Mm. This is how the same, she asked me, <laughs> When are you ready to start? And again, it's and again, different. and I said tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, of course. You, you, you're the woman who does things tomorrow. I, I like it. I, I was about to make a, a little bit of a stereotypical comment, which is, you know, it's I think it's part of Chinese culture that they put a lot yeah. of meaning in numbers and numerology. And some numbers yes. are lucky and some numbers aren't lucky. And it's, it's kind of interesting it, also that, good. Yeah, for them, for them, uh, numbers are the same. It's numerolo numerology or astrology or something. <laughs> These are numbers and num numbers speak. Numbers speak. That's why, <laughs> like the trader told me, numbers speak. And uh, all my colleagues say the same numbers speak. Look right. at on numbers. <laughs> I, I like it. So you, you meet with Sonia, who's the president. And yeah. tell me a little bit more about that first meeting. Yeah, she asked me some questions like um, people, I mean, uh, employers, bosses ask, uh, uh, but the main, the main was feeling the person like she felt um, I'm that person she needs. Yes. This is the ability to look through the uh, like to read, to scan a person. I think I'm sure that she scanned me. Um, I'm always honest, you know, uh, and she knew that I have zero experience. Yes. Zero experience. And, but she hired me. This is how, um, this is how women <laughs> are powerful, <laughs> you know, to, to uh, listen to, not only to the brain, not only to the numbers, but their heart. Mm -hmm. Their feelings. Yeah, Masha, mashallah, mashallah, ma, ma, <laughs> Okay, so she, she hires you. What did she hire you as? Like, what, what's your job? Uh, my job is uh, to work with people. This is how I combine uh, crypto trading, uh, crypto knowledge, and communication with people. Because okay. my main task, my main task uh, is to communicate with people because I can also look through the people. I can also feel the energy. I can also feel this vibe. Uh, and when I first met you, uh, Gordon, I, I said, first we uh, make friends, then we'll uh, become partners. Even yeah. if you, if you don't want, for example, to be my partner, but we can make friends. 
this is how I work. I don't, I don't like push people. I can push people. I have a very strong character, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I can push. But if I see that wait, person, wait, wait. Uh, uh, audience, just so you know, Anastasia and my wife Irina, uh, we all met for breakfast, and 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 when the usual thing happened, which is once the two girls start talking, I'm I'm out of the picture. So now now I got two powerful women on either side of me. We can both see through me so that that's fun <laughs> yeah yeah that's fun that's fun and i felt that energy that vibe i was so happy i came to the office i uh told sonia my president about uh you and about arena uh, that i felt that energy that happiness i was really fulfilled with the with this good vibe you know kind vibe uh yeah. i like that uh, I think these are uh, all about my partners I bring to company mm. because uh, I I think um, and um, I hope that I attract right people. I uh, like uh, Irina so said, you, for example, good job. Uh, if you want to go, go. Mm. <laughs> if not, if uh, you are not my person, go. I would say. Can, can I can I jump in for a second? One, one thing I realized in my I'll get a little bit personal. One, one thing I, I realized in my last relationship that I never realized before, you know, you, you, you can't make someone stay if they don't want to stay and you can't make someone go if they don't want to go. It's like you yeah. can't get rid of someone and you can't keep someone. It, it's like people are making their own choices and, to, and and you when you're interacting with people, whether it's whether it's love or whether it's business or friendship or everything, sure, you, you can be involved, but you can't hold. It, it just doesn't work. Yeah. And the, the funny thing is when you just relax and you're okay with that, the people you yeah. want to stay tend to stay and the people who should go tend to go and kind of like yeah. the, the universe looks out. The universe is smarter than we are, you know, and, uh, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, if you want to, if you want to go, go, I'm not, I'm not pushing yeah. you, like, don't go. So in, interesting. Yeah. Okay. If you let people go, they come back. I, I know, <laughs> I, you know, I know that also. <laughs> and that's I, I, I'm sorry. I know I know it's your show, but I, yeah. I just I just feel like talking a little bit. The one thing I realized is, it, it, so suppose like you know I'm, I'm trying to build this YouTube channel, and sometimes I can get people on, sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can do an event, sometimes I can't. If for some reason it doesn't work out, I just know that it's it's me I need to work on. It's not them. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it's more subscribers. It's better content. It's better production. It's, it's more relationships. And I know eventually if they leave or don't come, eventually, if I keep on doing my job, then they'll come back. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, the universe will yeah. move. And then they'll, they'll look at it with new eyes and they won't even realize why they're coming back. Well, it's because I did the work. So I, I can't blame anyone else. I can't blame or think. I guess I could think. But I, I can't blame anyone else. Because you know, yeah. each one of us has complete responsibility for our lives, which is kind of yes, great. Yes, you know, in, yeah. yes, that's great. And from this perspective, I would say if you love what you do, mm -hmm. uh, if you love your work, uh, if you enjoy, people mm -hmm. feel that, and you attract these people. Yes, and this is how it works. If okay. it just you know, like. Um, uh, the same in the store when I worked in the store when you try to push people to bring them to uh, follow me uh, join me on board blah 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 no they are like uh, pushed away mm -hmm. but when you enjoy and when they see it and when they realize that uh, you just uh, suggest uh, them uh, a great idea mm -hmm. or like to make business or to make money and they see how you do, how you act. Mm. They're attracted. Yes, I know. It, it's it's about persuading. It, it's amazing. I, so you know, just for the audience, Arena and Asasi were having a little conversation before we started recording, and Arena was relating how one of her few years back, one of her mentors was another woman, and that woman was talking about the secret. And forget whether the secret is real. I, I don't really care about that conversation, but the, the, the idea of the secret is sort of manifesting and enjoying what you're doing. And then, and then it comes in, you, you don't, you don't need to grab it. You know, it, it's kind of, yeah. it kind of happens when you, when you like what, what you're saying, when you love and what you're doing and you work on it, then, then stuff shows up. Oh, okay. But let, let me get back to your job. Yeah. Okay. So you, yeah. 
you're, you're, it sounds like your job is to form your community, reach out to them, especially the Russian speaking community, and especially people geographically yeah. in those spaces, and bring them on board to Coin W, make them partners. What, what do you what do you do with them when you have them? So uh, my task is to find uh, KOLs, key opinion leaders, influencers, okay. educators, um, crypto traders. I mean, the people like uh, we can uh, call them whatever. Uh, I mean, influencers or educators. But my task is to find people uh, who trade in in Coin W app and who build the community. Because okay. our main task now is to create volume. I mean, uh, trading volume. Yes. Um, so I uh, find the people who trade and who can teach other people to trade. Uh, this is how they build their community under them. And uh, actually, I give these people um, real money. I mean, uh, this is the greatest opportunity to make money because they are not hired by the company we don't pay them mm -hmm. they just in coin w they trade and they show how they trade and uh, teach other people how to trade and they motivate them how to trade and uh, people get rebates every day from the company from the app this is a uh, futures trading mostly Okay. Or for those who for for, for those who have no time, uh, but have money, uh, we have copy trading. Um, I mean, when a trader trades, mm -hmm. and you just uh, click the button, make settings, and um, get your money. You just you just go along with it. Well, I I I didn't trade yet on Coin W, but I, I signed up today in preparation for this interview. So. Uh, I'll play around. I'm gonna play around with it and then see how it goes, and then you'll probably show me some. Yeah, go now, uh, Gordon. Um, please um, give the people, <laughs> our audience, your link, please. <laughs> uh, Joy, <laughs> go to Gordon's referral link. <laughs> oh, you know, I'll, 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 I, I, guys, just, just, just you know how honest I am. I don't even have one, uh, but I, I think, or unless he sent it to me, I, I didn't see it. I, I just am doing Coin W because because I met you and I'm interested. But I, I guess when I do the show notes for the for the video when we publish this like a, it, it should be a month from now but we'll, we'll see if i can push it up we, we, we got a lot of recorded shows i'll, I'll include the my yeah. i guess i'll have an affiliate link for coin w then so i'll include it in the show notes but you know just just to keep my integrity I, i'm not actually a partner of them i just met anastasia and it sounds interesting and the lady who started the company sounds interesting so we decided to do the interview so this is this is as pure as you can get Later on, it will be impure. Um, okay, so so we're, we're showing people how to trade in crypto, specifically in futures. That's that's interesting. Can you can you do plain vanilla trading? Can you plain train USDC for or USDT for for Bitcoin, or is it always does it need to be a future? No, I mean uh, we create volume uh, trading on futures. We have uh, spot trading uh, in Coin W two, but how we create um, the trading volume is only on futures. I mean to give I people the opportunity not only to earn some uh, to make some profit during uh, trading itself, but uh, creating uh, this money uh, on rebates. I mean, when you trade on futures, uh, next day you receive uh, the rebates um, from your yesterday's uh, trading, uh, from your personal trading and from the trading of your followers, of your users. I mean, the people who trade uh, using your referral link. Uh, that's why I, I said to Gordon uh, to use uh, his referral link uh, to show how it works, really. It's not about the users, because um, actually we don't need just users, uh, just followers. We need uh, traders. Maybe they're beginners, maybe they're experienced, advanced traders. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter, but the, I mean, trading community. Uh, this understand. is how it works. Yeah. Um you know what? As, as as my channel grows, I'm sure I'll get more of those. So let's. <laughs> so you, the, 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 another topic I want to cover is you've. I, I love how karma works. You've taken your kind of restrictive or bureaucratic Belarusian teaching experience and reworked it and rebooted it and remade it into something kind of liberating here in Dubai, especially for women. 
And that's a, that's a that's a that's a bizarre parallel to think that you know you're you're teaching, you know, it's like just to, just to rip it for a second. People are people are scared of crypto. They're scared of the candles. They're scared of the trading and all this other stuff. And like you said, it you you learn by teaching, and sometimes you just need to show people what, like what button to push. It's not in your head. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and it's it's funny because here you are teaching in Belarus, probably using similar techniques. And now, now tell me about your teaching. Tell me how you're mentoring people. Yeah, uh, normally uh, all my partners are here in Dubai. Mm -hmm. That's why I try to meet in person, face to face, and to explain face to face. Just I uh, take my phone or use the laptop and show uh, which uh, button to choose. Because actually, even the experienced traders sometimes, you know, are confused. <laughs> and I have to explain, if you see uh, this green, it means it's plus. If you see it's um, a red, it's, it means minus. Uh, this is how- <laughs> Even I know that, okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is how I worked at school uh, as a teacher. I mean, if you teach, you just uh, always imagine your um, your people, your community as kids. And you try to explain uh, them with simple basic. Just uh, take some uh, beautiful pictures from the internet. Take some uh, funny, um, funny pictures, funny photos from the internet, or use the cartoons, use the uh, animated videos, just to make it simple and relaxed. Because uh, when people are uh, are diving into crypto from the first days, mm -hmm. and I know how it is, it's. <laughs> <laughs> what all this yeah. is like, what in this yeah it's uh quite quite um, annoying quite uh, huge massive information that's why it's very difficult and i try to do it like as for kids and uh, i prepare some animated cartoons animated videos from the and I want to make them funny, you know. I choose uh, some funny <laughs> cartoons to make people relaxed uh, and uh, understand step by step, basic mm -hmm. by basic. Um, and, and of Russian course, or hmm? or Russian, English, or both? It depends. Sometimes I use English, sometimes I use Russian. Um, let me explain. Sometimes, you know, crypto terminology are uh, based um, on English. That's why yeah. it's uh, quite easier to explain in English than in Russian. Uh, as for me, even uh, I started using uh, CoinW app in English because it's really easier than in Russian. For example, when in English it's one word, in Russian it's three words. Like, <laughs> not so comfortable and not so convenient. That's why. I first I try to explain uh, to people face to face uh, because they need to feel this energy. Uh, secondly, I use the easiest way as for uh, kids, like for small kids. And um, you know, I'm always in touch. If they have any questions, if they feel you know stupid, sometimes they say, "Oh, I feel stupid. I don't understand." Uh, I try to uh, find basic words i try to find um, to find some examples uh, some comparatives comparative with the mass maybe with literature i don't know it depends on the person fascinating and then are, are a lot of your clients one thing you and i talked about offline was um i think a lot of your clients or your influencers are female or women yes Actually, I created um, in I, I created a society a community in my uh, Telegram, uh, okay, right, um, which right, right, is right. Coin W Crypto Women's uh, Crypto Club, and in general, you know, I separate. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, women's crypto club. This is um, the club for um, experienced traders because uh, actually they are different. Mm. Yeah, because uh, men think one way, uh, women think in another way, actually. That's why um, I separated them. It depends. Mm. And actually, I can say I can say that um, uh, women are easier, you know, because 
they never say, oh, it's fake. This is fake. Let me tell you a secret. Women are only easier if you're a woman. Women are not easier if you're a guy. Women are, <laughs> women are impossible. Okay? So women are easy for you. You. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Maybe, maybe, you know. Okay, but that, that, okay, but I, I I understand what you're saying. I think I think the women are very easy, like one, two, three. Bro, yeah, 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 yeah sure, sure. I, I can't believe I'm hearing this in Dubai. In Dubai, you're telling me uh, in Dubai, a Russian speaking woman is telling me that women are easy. <laughs> but it depends what you mean by easy. Okay, anyway. So okay, but you 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 have your Telegram group with women. You're 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 treating you're teaching them, you're training them, or you're mentoring them. And, yeah. and how did that start? What was, what was your inspiration? Actually, um, I started um, with men. Okay. I was in search of crypto traders, this, you know, bossy businessman, yeah. and this kind of man. Mm, but they're very, very harsh because they don't trust um, if they are mistaken, if like I think if a man um, sees or um, understands he's mistaken, he thinks it's scam because he's right. And oh, if a man if if a, if a man uh, loses money, it's scam. It's scam, it's fake. <laughs> when a woman loses a money, she says, oh, I need to deposit more. Well, that's good for you. <laughs> she, uh, she doesn't say it's scam. You know, you know it's funny. I, I <laughs> she just... says, I need to deposit more. <laughs> she understands that she lost. Mm -hmm. Okay, it happens. <laughs> but uh, with men, it's difficult. Yeah. <laughs> I know, because they, they can't be wrong, heaven forbid. Yes. Uh, you know, it's funny. I, I, I just had this. I'll, I'll introduce you because maybe he's an opinion leader you need. But I, I just had a successful VC on the show. And his comment during the, it's not published yet, but his comment during the interview was that you only learn when you lose. Right? You only learn when you lose. Because if you win, you don't know why you won, really. But if you lose, you can start looking at the reasons and get better. So. Yeah. You know, it's, it's you know just what you're saying about the female or womanly attitude of oh wow I need to deposit more. What, yeah. what, what I'm hearing is they they lost. They understand they need to do it again so that they can learn. So that they, yes, they exactly. Cycle. This is the the right sentence. Mm -hmm. If you lose, you learn. That's correct because uh, crypto is not about. Uh, because sometimes people think, wow, crypto, money, money, <laughs> and that's it. Crypto is like this, plus or minus, plus or minus, especially yes. if you trade in futures. It's, it can't be always plus. And um, as for women's side, it's uh, easier to understand. Like, uh, as I said, okay, I lost, I underst understood why. And I lost, of course, because um, I was too emotional, for example. Um, I didn't lose a, a big amount, but I lost, because, and I understood why. Because, for example, I used uh, huge leverage, you know, uh, I was too venturous. <laughs> I was so emotional that I started uh, using big leverage. And when I lost, like in a second, mm -hmm. I, I, I knew, like I was calm, I was okay because I knew that one day it would happen because uh, it's risky to leverage. Yes. I mean, that, that's how... This is quite logical. Well, this is what I recommend, no, it's, it's, not, it's not to follow my example. <laughs> this is a joke. There's three ways that guys lose in life. Yeah. Clicker, ladies, and leverage. <laughs> That's why. That's why. Don't use high leverage, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't use high liquor. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys decide about the ladies. No, no, yeah, yeah. Le 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 leverage is, is intoxicating because you can control yeah. so much more than what you got, right? But leverage makes yeah. you vulnerable to smaller moves, and it it puts a time limit on your recovery. You know, if you if you if yeah. you I completely agree with you. I mean, if you if you own a stock and it goes down, you can just hold it. 
you don't have to take the loss. But if you have leverage, you'll you, you got to be really on top of things. But I I, I, I admire you for for not giving up. <laughs> and you know, because <laughs> when leverage goes the wrong way, it can be scary. So, so I mean, yeah. with, you take your experiences and use that to teach the women in your Telegram group. Yeah, uh, I teach not only women in my Telegram group. I teach uh, boys or men also. I never say, I just gave the example because I'm honest. Uh, I gave the example, uh, but I never say it. Use this leverage 50x or 125x uh, leverage. It, it, of course, I always say uh, 5x up to 25x. Mm -hmm. And always look at your screen, look at your phone from the beginning. Just later, I will show how to trade in different positions, how to trade in different way. But from the beginning, use only this, this, and this. Yes. And don't put high leverage. Don't put this. Just I show click here, click here, click here, mm -hmm. and then open the position. Don't use high leverage. This is how I um, normally teach people, of Great. course. And actually, not all the people listen because, for example, as for even copy trading, uh, sometimes people think it's there is button money. That's it. Uh, and they didn't uh, set up all, all the numbers like mm -hmm. they used. Uh, the trader, uh, the professional trader, of course, can use uh, 125x leverage mm -hmm. because uh, the professional trader has a lot of money and he can add if he loses, uh, if he loses, uh, for example, 1000 uh, USDT or something, um, it's okay for him. He can add, but if you trade like with 100, you lose and it's not so good. Yeah, that's why uh, always follow the instructions uh, I give. For example, um, when I had the experience uh, with people who are uh, really beginners in crypto and they set up uh, copy trading, they thought it's just one one click and that's it. And when they tried about losing money and I checked, this is how CoinW, by the way, behaves in the case of uh, something, uh, something happens like emergencies. I gave my contact uh, to clarify with every person, with every person what happened because they all cried uh, like they lost money. And it appeared they didn't uh, lose money because they didn't understand plus minus, plus minus. And they even don't see that um, there is red, green, red, green. Like their trades were like green, red, green, red. And there are some pluses, there are some uh, minuses. And they, they didn't understand. Like I, um, I explained uh, simple things. You see, this is plus, this is minus. And of course, if, if the minus is one, two, three, four, five dollars, <laughs> it's not uh, our crypto exchange fault. No. Yeah, that's why we should clarify from the beginning with people how it works. Like number by number, click by click, what to do, uh, what to bear in mind every time. And uh, I'm always uh, next to them, like technical support. Of course, there is technical support in uh, in the app. But if you need my uh, help, I will try to involve all the team, technical support, my personal traders and other stuff. This is how we work, because first it's, um, it's personality, like a personal approach. Mm -hmm. We don't leave our users just like, ah, you lose. Okay. <laughs> no, no that, that, that's we, I think that's great. I think it's going to be maybe a challenge to maintain that as you grow, that, that yes. personal touch. I, I, I'll, be, I'll be curious to see how you work with that challenge. Because I, I think you, you're on the path, you're already successful. And I think you're on the path to increase success. And what usually happens is when someone does a good job, especially in social media, it, it, social media itself is leverage. So I think you're going to yeah. end up with a lot of people following you. And then the question is, how do you take care of them? So, well, I guess we'll see. The, yeah. the challenge. And, and, you know, also you're, if I understand correctly, you're pretty new yourself to crypto trading. You, I think you started this, if I heard you correctly, at the end of 23 or the beginning of 24. And now you're here, here teaching others. I, I And I completely agree with what you said. The best way to learn is to teach. Yeah. But, but what is you? What is your ongoing? What's what is your learning path going forward? 
how do you, how do you become a better trader? How do you learn more of the market? What do you see for yourself? Actually, this is the um, great advantage. I am an employee and I work here uh, with the team in the office. And I work side by side with the professional traders. And every every single moment I can ask, I can clarify. Uh, this is my advantage, of course. And I know that I will be learning myself. I will be educating for myself for years because crypto is an uh, unstoppable process. Uh, you will always, you will always uh, teach yourself or teach others, learn. Uh, you will always learn something you this is my process and I, I would say i'm quite a beginner but um my advantage i work with my team and i have them side by side mm -hmm. and this is good this is really good i like that i i, I love that they, I, they're really helpful that, that that was a good answer to, to i think a tough question so good, good mm -hmm. job and i think i'm also hearing that because you're surrounded by the support network, it, 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 you know it's it's not you trading; it's this hive mind trading, and because the group you're working with, the ladies, not ladies, whatever, you know, because they're working with you and because you have access to this, they're getting all this experience and all these different people channeled through you to them. Yeah. So that's a that's a that's a, that's a good answer. You 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 address the glaring issue, which is you're new to this and you're showing others, but. That's yeah. beautiful. I, I, I'm actually a little bit envious of the fact that you get to experience this all day, every day. I mean, it, it, it's like the ultimate school. You know, it, yes. it's beautiful. Very, very true. Very true. Yes. And um, it's endless, endless process. And uh, I'm happy to get this knowledge every day. Mm -hmm. Like in general, in the sphere of blockchain, Web 2, Web 3, uh, I actually attend a lot of uh, events uh, where I take knowledge. Uh, people sometimes say that the events are quite boring, don't go there. But I attend uh, because every day I get new knowledge. And for me, it's very, very important because uh, your brain is developed every day. Yes. Well, you know, the best event you can attend is my YouTube channel. There you go. Ah. <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, that's cool. And then what's, I mean, we, we talked about this before when we had breakfast. What, what, what's the work environment like at Coin W? You, you seem to enjoy it. Yeah, we, yeah. Thank you for this question because I have never believed in team mentality, really. I'm from Belarus. I'm from school, <laughs> you know, I have worked like all my life at school uh, with women, by the way, and it was really, really harsh. Yes. Um, I have never believed that I'm able to uh, cooperate to work with women uh, because um, for me, uh, it was always easier to work with men. Because okay. maybe I have this logical mentality. Sometimes I'm uh, irrational, of course. I'm a woman. <laughs> but uh, it, it was uh, easier for me to make business with men. Mm -hmm. But here, uh, I saw, I faced this situation uh, when I saw a team. And it was for me like, wow, <laughs> discovery. Like a uh, team mentality exists. And I see... Uh, how people behave, how people act. Even the president of Coin W sits uh, at the same desk as we all, with us together, not uh, separated, not in her uh, office. Mm -hmm. it, it was for me just wow, <laughs> it can be like this, really. Uh, and I see, I see it in the family. I, I had some examples of uh, some uh, issues in uh, my working working process, and everybody helped me. Even the president helped me, uh, asking these questions, asking um, maybe Anastasia, you need something I can help with. I have never heard this question, this type of question from the boss. I thought the, the, uh, this experience that. doesn't exist. Yeah. That's why uh, I come here to the office uh, 
Mm, seeing the president, seeing my colleagues, seeing my team, and I can say it's uh, it's my team, my family, really, because I came to Dubai alone, I live alone, for me it's okay, I'm a strong woman, but I, it's team mentality, family mentality, but here in this company, really, I saw it, so it, for me, it's not uh, just work, for it me, it's really a real good. team, real family. You're, you're no longer in this post-Soviet bubble. You're like, and, and yes. You know, what you're describing is even beyond, I mean, it's not even Western. It's because it's it's what people say. You know, people always say this company's like a family. They always say we're all friends. Yeah. But then they're, that's just propaganda. But they every moment uh, are ready to eat you every moment. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I think, again, for the audience, you know, we're having a conversation before we start recording, and it looks like Irina and I, my wife and I, will be visiting the CoinW office and meeting with Anastasia and the team next Thursday, and maybe recording a couple of videos yeah. there. So I'll I'll maybe do a follow-up video to this and, you know, confirm or deny what she's saying. I, I, I have a feeling it's true. I just want to see it in action. And I look forward yes, to Yes, for sure. Okay. You can see on my screens behind me. I want. I want to see more. You know, <laughs> like I. I, I want to see. I want to see the multi-screen cool setup because you know to be in a real trading floor is neat. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's great. That's that's super. I, th I think. I think we're almost done for now until we actually go to your office. Is, is there anything else you want to add, or do we miss anything? And actually, uh, saying uh, something about office, you know. Uh, my biggest KOL, my biggest partner, uh, he's Ukrainian. Uh, how he um, uh, reached the office, it, it's quite an unusual story because, you know, you can uh, type whatever you want, blah, 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 come join us uh, to different KOL bloggers, and it's difficult to reach a blogger. Uh, because nobody uh, nobody responds in uh, direct messages and all this stuff. Um, and I actually texted the message in email um, and he asked, where is your office? And I said, here, here. I named, I named the address and he said, I'm coming tomorrow. And I was Oh my gosh! Because uh, we always we always uh, uh, welcoming. I mean, we invite people uh, because sometimes people really don't trust because you know crypto and sure. this fear sometimes uh, online. But we are all here, real people, and when you invite uh, different people to the office, they start to trust because they see. Uh, this is how it will happen, uh, I guess, with Gordon and Arena. And uh, I have this feeling uh, we are friends, not not just uh, talking about business, but talking about this communication, this warm energy. Yes. And yeah, yeah. next week we'll meet in the office. Cool. I, I, I'm excited. As long as you have lots yeah. of coffee. That's my only requirement. I, I, need, I need coffee. But I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, can, can you see, can you, my life. <laughs> you, you, you don't understand where I'm coming from. Can, can you say the, you, look, you know, I'm attached to Ukraine. You just, and Irina is too. Can, can you say the name of the influencer, the, the KOL? The yes. Uh, Alex Shark Crypto. Okay. Alex that, Shark. That yeah. Reasonable. It's Instagram. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I'll, I'll check him out. Great. Yeah. Okay. I, honestly, I say this was epic. This was great. This is the, the right length, the right content, the, the right attitude, the right information. I, I want to yeah. thank you for taking the time to come on the show. I know you're very busy. Uh, I know you make time for people. <laughs> I, know, I know you're generous with your time, but there's only 20 yeah. hours a day and you, you, you made the appointment, you booked it, you did it, you followed through. It, yeah. it's great. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Gordon. Thank you. And thank, uh, thank uh, for Irina for meeting you. I was really, really happy last last week, and I was really excited. That was a good breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, actually, you know what? I, sorry, I, I'm just gonna say one thing to, to the audience. So, you know, my, just you know, my hack and my, my social hack here in Dubai, which uh, Anastasia was nice enough to play along with, is I, something I started in Los. Something I started here, actually, I should say, in during COVID. Because I was stuck at a hotel for all, all these months and there weren't large scale events, but I wanted to meet people. So something I had learned in Los Angeles was invite them for breakfast. 
Okay, who shows up for breakfast in Dubai? It's people who don't stay out too late. Okay, it's yeah. people who show up when they say they're going to show up, more or less. You know, everyone, you know, traffic 15 minutes, it's like, I, I, I build that in. I have my podcast, I'm not stressing out. So yeah. my, my social hack here in Dubai is to invite people for breakfast, conveniently for me, right next to where I live. So, you know, it, you know, I, I just invite them to Boko and, and then the good people show up, you know, and, and I have the whole yeah. process automated using Calendly, you know, Gordon, I say, you'll figure it out. I don't want to tell the whole world, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, I, I saw Anastasia, I think at the Iftar event we hosted that, you know, another one's coming up, I'm going to invite you to, and then, yes, you know, you, know, you responded, you know, you, you need someone to say yes in order for something to happen. You can't just have an yeah. non-answer. So, you know, you came, you showed up, it was great. My wife came, we all got along and here we are, you know, it's. Yes. It's and I had that, I had that feeling. Because actually we met uh, during the greatest event. It was like so luxurious. <laughs> I liked it so much. And I realized that what uh, it was the uh, right place, the uh, right people uh, where I met you. Yep. Yala. Yeah. Perfect. Right, Yala. Thanks, Anastasia. <laughs> Perfect. Well done. Good job. <laughs>